feel like about five years old when I have my hair in pigtails. <laughs> Oh my god, I should have had so much food before I film this. Sarasi Sujiki Kaksi, or hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Olita, I do fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos, and fun videos like this. So yeah, today, I'm gonna be trying Bulgarian snacks. So, just a little reason why. Some of you guys may know, some of you guys may not know. Like, my boyfriend, he's from Bulgaria, and I've been there like three times now, and I've tried, you know, different foods, like dishes, so, kebab chita, kifte, um, banita, um, dropsama, like loads of different dishes, but I feel like I haven't actually dabbled into the kind of confectionery side of things so sweets chocolate crisp and things like that so um we actually managed to locate a bulgarian supermarket um nearby which was amazing because apparently it's the only one like where we live i think the rest of them are like in london and stuff so it was amazing to locate this and my boyfriend was so happy when he found it because a lot of the stuff you can't really get here so he'd have to go back home or ask his mom to bring it and stuff like that so i thought you know what what better time to get like different bulgarian snacks to try and make a video about it like my first impressions about you know what kind of snacks i liked which one of you know maybe i didn't like things like that so yeah let's get started i see okay so i've literally got a big bag of different stuff let's try it i'm gonna start with the savory stuff so this one is called lotto pizza so my boyfriend said these are like well pretty much what he says that they're, they're just pizza flavored crisp and him and his friends absolutely love this so i'm gonna try it and see what i think for myself it does literally smell like pizza to be fair they're just like ringed shaped kind of remind me of those um transformer snacks the english ones You know what, that generally tastes like pizza. That's pretty good actually. The taste is a bit overwhelming, but it's a good overwhelming if that makes sense. I'll eat a whole packet of this, definitely. Okay, so the next item that I actually have is this. It's like a honey cake. It's just it's like that. Hopefully my camera's focused. And this is Medovinka, so it's a honey cake. Um, my boyfriend said he doesn't like this, like he said it's a bit sweet, but I'll try it and see what I think. Oh, it's got chocolate on it. So that's what it looks like. It's just like a big, massive, it feels like biscuit, <laughs> chocolate biscuit, but we'll see. than what you were saying i'm trying to think what it tastes like like an english sweet but i can't think of it it's just basically like a honey biscuit but but yeah it's like a cho chocolate covered honey biscuit to be fair though if i had the whole thing i probably would um start to feel a bit queasy but i could definitely have this like this is really nice that's pretty cool i like that Mm. Love it. Ooh. Okay, I can see what you mean. Like, there's, there's a lot of sugar. Okay, so the next one is. Okay, I might be pronouncing this wrong, and bear in mind, like, I'm still learning the language, so I might pronounce it wrong. Boro. Borobi? Boroli? Boroli? I think. I think that's it out. It's either borobi or borobi. Anyway, you guys should know what I'm talking about anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, okay, it says that there's um, cream, wafer, and I don't know what the first word says because as I said, I'm still learning, but from what I can see, it's got cream, almonds, wafer, but 
but yeah, let's try it. <laughs> oh my god, like Bulgarians love Wayfair. Like, I've noticed a lot of the snacks that my boyfriend picks up that always like Wayfair stuff because each time I go there, like, they just love bringing out things with Wayfair in it. So it looks like dark chocolate. I don't think it's milk chocolate. We'll try it anyway and we'll see. That's really good. Mm. I like that. So I said it's like way from there. Really creamy. I thought it was dark chocolate. I feel like it's milk chocolate. I should have had more whipping it to come and translate for me. Um oh way for with cocoa cream and cocoa cold tin. Yeah, it's just normal. It's normal chocolate. That's really nice to be fair. Again, I could probably only have this in small doses because I'm not someone that has a lot of sugary things anyway. Um, I only have it like every once every so often, so I'll probably have a little bit at a time. But that's really good. Like I like that. Okay, so next thing is another wafer again. Um, this one's called Melita. Melita. Well, not ta ta. <laughs> this looks like that. Um, so it's got cream, chocolate, and coconut in there. And you get six in it. Whoa, look how big it is. <laughs> it's so big. Mmm. Mmm. I like. I like, I like, I like. Harris for me. No gummy harris for It's good. The coconut really gives it that bam okay so this one i definitely had to pick up because um they've started to sell some of these in tesco like a couple of the flavors but this one is a strawberry and vanilla croissant so it just looks like that i think this particular brand seven days is pretty popular in um in eastern europe i think they sell this brand um all over the place i think they do sell this brand in several countries but oh my god i love their stuff so i'm excited to try the strawberry and cream one how big is this croissant i can't deal croissant croissant mmm mm. massive sugar rush right now the amount of stuff i've eaten this is good. Oh my god. I like. I might keep this for breakfast tomorrow. Because mm, it's so big, but it's so good. Mm, it's good. So it's literally got. I thought it was going to be a bit more of like a. What do you call it? Like a strawberry Kool Aid. Like, do you know what I mean? Like more of a sauce. But it's actually just jam. Strawberry jam. And then you've got the cream with it as well. But it's good. It's really, really nice. But because of how big it is, I'd probably have to have it bit by bit again. Because again, I don't really have that much sugar. But this is good. Delicious. Water break. Next thing now is um, these. So they're Rolls Heat Jam Biscuits. I didn't know you could like have it sounds like a stupid question but i've never seen anything with rolls hip in there like it's in food wise like i've got rolls hip um face oil but i've never actually seen food with rolls hip in there like i don't know but yeah this is what it looks like so it's just basically chocolate biscuits with the rolls hip jam in the middle i think it might be quite nice to be fair um let's try it out I'm probably going to be bouncing up and on the walls after I've had all of these chocolates. Mm -mm. Name it Crespa. Mm. Nah. This is what it looks like. You know what it is? I don't think it's the actual biscuit itself. Recently my camera has not been focusing properly, but yeah, you can see what it looks like. I think it's the rolls hip. I don't like the rolls hip. I think that's what it is, but other than that, the chocolate's nice. It's just the rolls hip in the middle. 
Ne, 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 ne. The last item is this one. My boyfriend was like, oh my god, if there's any left, please give some to me. And I was like, we'll see, because I may like it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this one is called Anelia. So it's just basically chocolate biscuits. It just looks like that. It looks pretty good. It reminds me of like um, chocolate biscuits. I mean, sorry, not chocolate biscuits, um, bourbon biscuits. But I think this one has literally more chocolate inside. Okay, so it just looks like that. Oh, it's not even attached. I thought it was going to be like one biscuit or a biscuit, kind of like a sandwich thing. But it's just like on its own, which I think is better. Um, it's got like a little sailor on the front and it says um, Burgas. If you guys can see that, because I think the writing's going to be the wrong way around. Yeah, it just says Burgas on the front, which is like um, a town in Bulgaria. Sunny Beach, if you guys know, the tourist spot. Sunny Beach, that's Burgas. So maybe that's where these, cho these chocolate biscuits came from. Mmm. It was right. They good. Mmm. The biscuity part though does definitely remind me of like a bear, English bear bun biscuit. And it's just literally just got chocolate on top, lathered chocolate on top, which is like super good. These would be nice with a glass of milk. It's a shame because I don't even like milk, but for those of you that like milk, this would definitely go really well with it. It's really good. That was actually really fun, like it was really good. It was a lot of sugar intake for one scene, but it was really, really nice. I have to say my favorite, obviously has to be the seven days croissant and the chocolate biscuits as well. Love, love, love. These two are my favorite, definitely. Then probably after that, these. I didn't like these rolls heat biscuits as much. Um, probably just gonna give it to my family, see, um, see if they like it. But yeah, it was really fun trying these snacks. And I definitely know what I'm gonna have when I go back to Bulgaria this summer. Maybe I might do a vlog. Mm. Definitely know what snacks I'm gonna pick up in the shops now. But yeah, thanks guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button, girl or guy. But yeah, um, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite Bulgarian snacks are or what you'd wanna try if you haven't tried it before. But yeah, guys, hope to see you next time. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.